North Bergen is trying to make it legal by applying for this diversion, and the public again has no choice. To think that we are, and that we are arguing over giving our children a safe and appropriate environment to learn and grow is quite frankly disturbing. While the majority of the attendees who spoke during the Hudson County Board of Chosen Freeholders meeting yesterday were concerned with the future of the landmark Lowe's Jersey Theater, Another item on the agenda that caused a stir was the early stages of the construction of a North Bergen preschool. Specifically, the first item on yesterday's agenda was a resolution supporting the State House Commission pre-application to the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection Green Acres Program for the diversion of 1.1 acres with the James J. Braddock Park for the continuing occupation of the North Bergen preschool. Currently, the preschool is operated out of trailers located next to Bruin Stadium. North Bergen resident Robert Walden was adamantly against the project, claiming that North Bergen already has enough amenities in the park and placing the school there sets a bad precedent for neighboring communities. North Bergen already has a large recreational complex in the park, including its high school stadium and fields. Imagine what the park would look like if North Bergen also built a town hall West New York and Gutenberg also built schools in the park. Municipal development that is not in keeping with Green Acres mission of facilitating open space and recreation should not be allowed in the park. Please read the handout. It explains why North Bergen can afford to move the preschool and why the diversion will not create more park space in the county as officials contend. Walden also cited an online petition to save James Braddock Park, which has over 1,500 signatures, as proof that the project is not as well received as some officials would like us to believe. District 8 free older Anthony Veneri wanted to know where a better location for the facility would be. There are numerous temples, churches, there's River Road location, location uh, there's uh, places on Tunnelly Avenue, there's places on... In other parts of the Why community. Do you want to put a preschool on Tunnelly Avenue? Yes, there's, a, there's a, I believe, a path mark building there. Yeah, there's also a trail park. Do you have kids? The, excuse me? Do you have children? Yes, I do. What does that have to do with it? Excuse me, there is a trail park that was just uh, converted, it's being converted into luxury condos. What better location for trailers than in a trailer park? Former West New York Board of Education slash Commissioner candidate Patrick Cullen also opposed the new preschool, calling it a naked power grab by North Bergen. Veneri disagreed, stating that Braddock Park has always been, and continues to be, utilized by various municipalities, also questioning the validity of the aforementioned virtual signatures. This is a naked power grab by North Bergen. To show you this, I would say, very questionable, cozy power relationship that North Bergen has with the county and the state. You have a mayor who is a state senator. You have the same person is a high-ranking official of the of the his board of education, and then you have his commissioner Hugo Cabrera, who is Parks and Recreation Commissioner, that is a secretary to the board of education. This this county park is for everybody, not just for North Bergen. Braddock Park is not exclusively used for North Bergen. Um, Gutenberg has their little field there. They've had it there for many years. They use the park. St. Joe's High School used to use it as a home field for their uh, baseball. Memorial High School used to use it. Um, Gutenberg, like I said, stays there. The, the trailers are in, in exactly right in the perimeter of the um, Grown State. It's not on the park land. It's on, on land where the uh, Board of Education leases. Um, I'd like to know where 1,500 signatures came from. I mean, anyone could put a petition on the internet and people from Africa could sign it. But I don't know where 1,500 people, I doubt they have 1,500 people in North against this diversion. diversion. Esther Ortega, a supervisor for the North Bergen Early Childhood Program, noted the preschool is in a perfect scenic location for children and that assigning a new location may actually have negative long-term implications for the park. We have been there for the last 15 years. As an educator and now an administrator, my stance will remain with the current location of the North Bergen Preschool. So Walter also mentioned something regarding uh, putting us into Tunnelly Avenue. Well, how would our students be able to, to enjoy the environment being on Tunnelly Avenue with all the cars and the buses and all the commercial properties that are there? This would not be suitable for, um, for our 
environment. The park we have enhanced by planting trees, the grass is always trimmed, and we have basically um, made the park and the area that we are utilizing, 1.1 acre, uh, an area that is very, very beautiful. And if we were to leave there, I would hate to imagine what they would do with that land. But it was all said and done. The measure was unanimously approved by the board, with Veneri thanking his colleagues for their support, as well as thanking the preschool teachers who attended the meeting. I'm John Hytus with the Hudson County View, the eye of the community.